examination that is microscopic examination of urine let's start step 2 place the sample in the centrifuge and balance it within equal volume tube place them exactly opposite to each other set the time and revolutions per minute start Now we will discard the supinated and we are left with just small volume of the concentrated sample. Small sample. Now slide making. Take one slide, place it on your counter, label it. Use a micro pipette. Take the sample, match the number. Pour very small amount of sample, around 50 micrograms. Micro. Okay. Now take the cover slip. Very neatly place it and try not to have any air bubble. This is a well prepared slide of urine for microscopic examination. This is code adjustment and this is fine adjustment. Codes adjustment will move your body up and down. Fine adjustment will find your image perfectly. So now you have been through the basic procedure. <clears throat> this is a review chart showing the things which you are supposed to see once you are doing the microscopy and once you have focused it at uh, 10 then at 40x. So basic chart uh, is crystals, cast, cells, organisms and miscellaneous things. So mostly in every report you must must first of all report the cells then the cast and the crystals. and uh, let's look inside some of the samples which I have uh, focused for you. Let's quickly go through the major cells now. Now these are R RBCs or red cells. These are small, circular and refractile. That is they shine a bit and they don't contain any granules. You can easily recognize them. And one hint is that you will see that the uh, blood uh, may be apparent macroscopically but sometimes it's not seen macroscopically so you have to be careful epithelial cells are bigger and they contain a nucleus and wbc's contain small dots that are showing the nucleus so they are bigger in size as compared to rbc's this is how you report them few moderate or many you can write the number as well a high power field Let's take this case scenario that you have been given this urine and uh, you've done dipstick and uh, look at it now at the microscope. I have saved the images. Luckily, it was a very good case. So epithelial cells, these are large and they have a nucleus inside them. And these are three kinds. You can clearly see that uh, the different types. And this is an RBC, the smaller one and the bigger one is a WBC. You can see the nucleus image inside as well. RBCs again small and uh, dots these are smaller RBCs and the bigger ones with granules are the WBCs so if you know these cells you can do maximum of your reporting like 90% of your reporting will be accurate you can see these casts as well which are solidified proteins cylindrical in shape and you can see them at 10x as well these are sometimes seen in the urine if you can identify them then it's very good and uh, these are the crystals crystals can be seen in normal urine as well but if they are too many in number then it might indicate some kind of pathology that the doctor can correlate with the clinical findings 
like stones or some metabolic disorders in case of infections you can also see candida or yeast budding yeast in the microscopic examination this shows two granular casts as well in addition to the uh, pseudo hyphae which you are seeing in this picture uh, different parasites can also appear in urine eggs of different parasites like the ones shown in these pictures and uh, also you can see rods and cocci and spermatozoa so this was all about urine microscopy. I hope, I hope you have understood this topic well. The next video that I am preparing is about the interpretation of urine and some cases of urine reports. So stay tuned.